Yeah. Farmer Mike, Phileas, and we're putting in the work today. And Look at that soil. Look at that soil. Oh, oh! It's getting there. It's getting there. Let me run and see. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Hey! I gotta get the action for the wreck. Gotta get the action shots. Oh! Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! Killing it in. Look at that. <laughs> I'm moving slow today, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Farmer Mike live from the big farm. And uh, uh, checking these mustard greens, chilling them in, and adding this nitrogen back to the soil at the big farm. Getting ready to put in some onions. Farmer Mike live from Ophelia's. Say hi to Miss Ophelia. Look at that. Oh, get your official Blue Vine Farm merch at affiliatesbluevinefarm.com. And uh, here at the big farm, putting in some work and um, <clears throat> doing some tilling. Got one of the fields, got one of the fields uh, across the railroad tracks tilled up. And um, we got to do some disking and stuff over there. And right now, enjoying the weather. Chilling in these um, these mustard green crops. And um, I'm out here. We did a video the other day. I haven't edited it yet, but be looking for that coming up at our YouTube channel, Foods Blue Vine Farm, where we um, <clears throat> went inside that hive right there with our suits on yesterday and checked on the bees and now actually we have a swarm box so farmer mike how do you get free bees this is how you do it swarm box there's only one way one way in one way out <laughs> and it's in this tree right here we placed a, uh, a hormone in there that attracts the bees so hopefully we can catch a free swarm and get some free bees some free bees from the area to have a real good resistance and uh, so who knows that's uh that's how you do it right there oh and here she comes again mrs ford getting this uh getting this field tiered tilled <laughs> what, what on the john deere and uh the implement does a great job getting getting this soil loose now a lot of people will say farmer mike I don't believe in tilling, no till. So I think sometimes there's a time to till. Sometimes there's a time not to till. So kind of depends. There's uh, really no one way, you know. There's things that you learn in a book and then there's things you learn from people like Farmer Bob and Miss Ford that aren't in any book and uh, you have to see to believe. That's right, you have to see it to believe it where's ripley okay can i go in <laughs> so, so there she is again she is. <laughs> so wait wait Mr. let me get my coffee i'm not myself yet miss one so <laughs> when i finish this when i finish this i'll be in rare form what's that finished? Yeah. Where's it at? 
It's at the house. It's at the house. It's finished. Oh, where did we plant it? Last, last, last year? It's on the other side. You want to look at it? I haven't looked at it. You want to go over there? We can go over there and look at it. Yeah. We'll go over there and look at it. Spinach, collards, uh, kale. There's some other stuff over there. So. All right. So we're going to go over to the other field. She wants to look at that spinach we planted before they went to Florida. Because if it's coming up like this, then uh, then maybe we just harvest that and we don't till that. We don't till that, uh, that spinach in. But again, having a great time putting in the work at the big farm. And there is Miss Ford coming up behind me. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> little surprise right there images you don't see every day you know one percent black farmers out there amazing right behind me it's looking good it's looking good it's looking real good i'm liking that i'm liking that <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Look at that! <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow! So let me go down here. So Mrs. Shh, don't tell anyone. So Mrs. Ford actually doesn't like being on camera, and she's very shy, you know. But we try to we try to get her in the shots because this type of imagery is something that you don't see in fact you can probably google black farmers and uh you are going to youtube and you actually have um have very little uh videos and uh literature and stuff it's like we've been erased from the history books but my, my god is that not inspirational or not see mrs ford uh, in her young age um driving this, these, these tractors and these implements and uh, and planting okra and the cabbage and all this stuff. Just pretty incredible. If she can do it, if I can do it, then you definitely can do it. And uh, and that's pretty, that's pretty inspirational because a lot of people um, have forgotten that African-American farmers actually uh, helped build this country and produced um, the majority of the <laughs> other food and um, and so I'm out here learning practices that have been passed down I got to take you and uh, show you in another video the greenhouse patch job that we did yesterday and um, and it's just amazing farmer Bob's knowledge and how we how we patch this plastic I would say if you if you had 99 people if you had 99 people come out and look at this greenhouse and um, and um, and asked them to fix it, 99 of them would have would have um, told us to do it the opposite way, you know, take all the plastic off. Now we did have new plastic, you know, but we couldn't put it on because we would have to reframe everything and we didn't have time. So sometimes it's not about the money, sometimes it's about the time, you know, there's certain, there's a window of time, like right now, to till when the weather's good and the soil and the soil is just right and there's these there's these windows and just like in life there's these windows and um and you have to take advantage of the opportunity of lifetime and the opportunity so we had to do a really um uh, uh, ad lib type uh greenhouse patch job we'll bring that to you in another video simply amazing 30 years of experience and uh, a lot of people's heads were <laughs> were baffled including mine but that's the good thing, you know, about learning from elders and uh, and being able to being able to be open to uh, to new ideas. And um, and if you're open to new ideas, nothing can stop you. So again, we're live at the big farm. We're gonna go across one of these other fields, and we're going to uh, we're gonna look at the spinach and uh, say goodbye to Miss Deborah. Bye, Miss Deborah. <laughs> say goodbye to our our farm truck, Earl. Bye, Earl. <laughs> say goodbye to the say goodbye to the bees. Bye, bees. 
and uh, say goodbye to Miss Ophelia. Bye, Miss Ophelia. I'll see you in the next video.